guys, what is the crack? Uh, I'm back with another video. The last one was a tutorial on the one wide torch key. This one is going to be on the magic bud that I came up with. Okay, so this is how it works. You activate the redstone ore and then... God. Stupid Mexicans. I, I mean, you pay them like $50 an hour, but still... What, tacos? Yeah, tacos. Tacos, tacos, tacos. What, tacos? Here are your tacos. <laughs> Alright guys, look look at this awesome little Ah Look at this little room. I like it. You want my tacos. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what we built. We're better than that. We built yeah. this. You, you wanna tell them what it is? Awesome. Alright, what it is is it's a combo lock that is a torch key. But it also uses the redstone ore. So, where, for an example, so if I place a torch on one of these ores, take the torch key, and it gives you a new redstone ore because it does really it updates it again when it deactivates. So, and this one is an actual combo block. Uh, I want to point out before we start this tutorial, um, this one the only reason that we have this little piston tape here. Is because this one's directly for the redstone ore. If we didn't, if you were just using regular blocks like sandstone, you don't even need to worry about this big old deal. I'll tell you in the tutorial yeah. what you need and don't need for the cycler. If you're gonna do that, the output of this repeater right here, right before the piston tape, will just go right into this thing right here. So, yep, you can do that if you want. And if you don't want to use redstone ore, like if you're doing this in survival, obviously you're not gonna be able to get this many redstone ore that fast. Or even have, like, you would have to have this perfectly in the world because you can't place redstone ore. You might have turns directly into redstone. So. Yeah. Alright, well. Tutorial time! Alright, so. Uh, let's go ahead and build it, guys. So you're gonna want to build up nine blocks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then on the tenth block, you're gonna want to put your sticky piston facing horizontally so you know that way whichever way you're doing it okay break this all the way down and now we're gonna go four across and just put sandstone blocks on these uh, later on these will be our redstone ore okay but for now let's just use sandstone um, the other thing I want to point out is that remember you could keep going with these you could have as many as many of these as you want but for now, we're just going to go ahead and use four. Okay. Now add a diagonal to these pistons, just like in the torch key tutorial, we're going to be putting another piston facing downward. Not to where that piston extends to, we're going to put another piston with a block on it, just like so. So there's a one block gap in between them. Now where this piston extends to, we're going to be putting our torch and repeater on it. Okay. So, just extend that out four times. Or however many you're doing it. Three. And one, two, three. Not there. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, bring these out. Torches and then repeaters. And there you have it. Oh, my bad. Real quick. Um, let's just swap these out. Okay, all of these sandstone blocks that we just placed. Go ahead and break them real quick. My bad. Let's replace them with red wool. I mean, if you want to, you can leave the sandstone, but I'm gonna use red wool because it makes me feel more colorful. <laughs> okay, extend it out four, and same thing as last time, just like that. Okay, now where these repeaters run into, we're gonna put a torch, and then we're going to carry that torch up four times. So there's two, three. And four. Now, this last one, we're going to put a block on it and then a torch on the back of that one. And then on the third one, so one, two, three, we're going to put a repeater facing inward right there. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do that. Stack it three more times. Do do, do do, do and do do do.
Okay. Now there's that. Now where these repeaters go into, we're going to put a block. And we're going to come out the other side with another repeater. And then that is also going to go into a block. Just do that again. And there you are. So, what's happening right now is these torches are unpowering these, which is powering these. These torches are powering this block, turning this repeater on, turning that block powered, powering this repeater, powering this block here at an angle to this piston right here. Okay, so that's also, by the way, carrying up and then into these torches. So, pretty self explanatory, but that's what we've got so far. Now we're going to put a block here and a block on the front of the torch. Repeater. That will go into a block and then come out the other side and then into another block. Okay, now this is the part where it's going to get a little bit messy. So let's just build these out really quickly. And then put our three repeaters down. Don't forget our blocks. Now what I want you to do right now to go down to this bottom row of pistons and just delete these blocks. Every single one of them. Now come back up here and then put three repeat four repeaters down, sorry, and have them all on three ticks of delay. Okay? And after you do that, you can go back down here and put these blocks on these pistons again. Never mind. Thought you could, but you can't. Go ahead and break those again. Okay. Now what, we, now what I want you to do is place torches right here on these blocks. So in between these two repeaters on the top. Go up <clears throat> into another block and then a repeater facing forward. That is then going to travel... <coughs> Sorry guys, my uh, needed to clear my throat. Anyway, that is then going to go onto a repeater. And these repeaters are going to go into a block. On the other side of that block, we are then going to be putting our redstone. Okay, now you can delete these blocks here if you would like, and also these blocks here. If you choose to, you don't have to, but, you know, saves resources. Natural resources. Anyway, <laughs> um, now we'll just place our blocks back down here. And that should be it. All you have to do is quickly update these pistons, and then everything will push out. That is the torch key part done. Really like this animation. Another thing I'd like to point out, don't put the torch down again, or like activate the next redstone ore in line, until you hear um, all the pistons are done. You can see... It won't work, unless you wait. There you go. You could put a little indicator light somehow, like, I don't know, this. Saying when it's ready or not ready. Not ready, and... put it on there when it's not ready. It won't work unless we remove the torch. Anyway, that's just... We'll, we'll add that later. Okay. Um, next, we will be doing the magenta circuit. Okay, so now we're going to be using our magenta circuit. Um, so first off, we're going to go from right here, diagonal to these torches and down. We're going to place our block so that it can carry into a repeater. Okay, we'll just do that across, and we're going to do this a total of three times. One, two, three, one, two, three, and yeah. There's one, two, and three. Okay, so again, this is going to be where a redstone ore block, or one of your block swapping blocks is going to be. Remember, this thing is made specially for redstone ore, that way it can cycle around, and I want to get rid of these. Anyway, um... <laughs> Uh, so this is made especially for redstone ore so that it can cycle all the way around. That way you can use it however many times you want without having to wait forever. Um, but 
Anyway, so this will carry out on the other side. Into repeaters, and then that will go into a block and down. Oops. We'll just carry this out and this out and place redstone on these. That will then go into a repeater, into a block, and then down it at, at a diagonal four times. So there's three, and then there's four, and then we'll come back one. On this one, we're going to place a repeater, and that will go into a block. And on that block, underneath that block, we're going to put redstone. That will go into a repeater. This right here will go into the repeater. The repeater gets placed on three ticks of delay. That will have a torch there and a torch there. Block there, put four across, and three in. Each of these repeaters is on one tick of delay and then redstone across here. And then I completely forgot about my redstone up here. Don't forget about that. It won't work. <laughs> um, after that, we'll just go into a block and then out the other side. But the uh, um, output just comes on this one. Okay, so now we're going to need our regular pistons, which I didn't have equipped. Right there is where our regular pistons will go. That will push the blocks up so that the rest of them can go around. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so next we will carry this out until wherever these pistons go. Um, they'll go right in this line here, and they will be okay. They will be right here. Okay, so that's just for my purpose of knowing where they're at. Um. Okay, we'll just run our line out to here. We're gonna come up one, and then in. Okay, so that's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth block, come up, and nine is the last block. And then that will actually go into another block. Then just carry this out four times, and there's all of those. Peter's in here. Pistons up there, and redstone on this line here. Now, right here in these first two spots, we're going to put two repeaters, both of them on a full four ticks. And there's the bottom part done. Now we're going to need some glowstone. Put the glowstone here. And we're going to need a total of 11 blocks. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Now just place redstone on each one of these blocks. There's that. That will then go into a block and out to the sides. There will be a repeater on both sides of this. The one that is facing the torch key thing will be on a full set of delay. This one will just then go into a block with redstone, and then it will carry down into redstone here. And that will come across another three, and we'll just put redstone on those. Now, underneath of here, we're going to put repeaters facing inward just like that. Okay, so that's what you should have up here so far. Now, what this is actually doing is the output from these repeaters is going onto here and up this glowstone tower. If you don't know, glowstone is a transparent block, so redstone from here can travel up onto here going through this block because it doesn't actually cut off the signal, it's transparent. So it comes all the way up here instantly, then goes into these two sides. Um, it will come out of this side, four ticks after this side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a torch there and a block on top, a block in front of the repeater, and then a block right there next to the torch with a redstone line right there and a torch there. Troy, I apologize. I know you don't like this pulse limiter, but you're going to have to deal with it. It's my tutorial. Anywho, um, carry this out another three blocks, and then we're going to come out three as well. Every 
one of these has repeaters on them. These first two rows, both all of them get put on four ticks of delay. And then these bottom, these last three just get put on two. And I gotta figure out where this is going. Um, okay, so we wanna come in. I believe they go straight into the pistons like this. Mm, I'll have to double check that, but <clears throat> let's just put them here for now. Okay, and now we're gonna come up on this side again. Off of this torch, it's going to go into a repeater, down over here, and then into these pistons right here. Okay, and that is off. That is off. Okay, so I was right the first time. Pistons need to be up here. All right. Don't adjust any of those ticks, people. <laughs> um, now we're going to be placing uh, these right here. Oh, and you don't actually need this line here. Just redstone throughout this thing. And that's the cycler part pretty much done. Now I, all we have to do is place our blocks in. So just place blocks here, here. Okay, that is too many pistons. What am I thinking here? Do okay, so just keep placing our blocks. Just use sandstone for now, or whatever building block of your choice. Don't worry about when that happens. Okay, just let it happen. And go underneath and continue. Okay, now on this last one, we're going to come outward toward this way. Keep going until you can't go any further. And put our last rows on. Okay, now right here is going to be a tight little squeeze. Just keep placing them in here. And then carry it upward. Over there. Then we're going to come out this way. Just like this. Okay. <clears throat> then when we reach there, just stop. <laughs> okay, so now we can see we have that entire ring done. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to come to this bottom front one right here. And this one up here. And just break this out. Now, um, another thing I want to mention is that, I'm sorry guys, but we can't make this exactly flush with the wall because of these pistons here, because we need them to cycle around. So, um, it's, you're, um, you're just going to have to kind of deal with that, I guess. Um, the lowest floor level you can have would be right there. But, um, it's so, I don't really see anybody, like, using, oh, crap. Um, right here. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, um, I don't really see anybody using this unless they're actually, like, here, pretty much. They've got their little wall here. And then this would be your little ground, because then it's about eye level. Anyway, so now we can see that our cycler works. So let's just place a piece of purple wool right there. Or magenta, sorry. See that it just keeps going around and around. Okay, so that's that for the sandstone part of it. Um, next, we're going to have, um, let's go with blue wool. Blue wool for the next part. Okay, and you can get rid of these materials here. Okay, so. Alright guys, um, now we're gonna do the little 
pulse measure thing because they all send pulses out if you go look real quick every one of them gets pulsed it's just you, you can tell that they get pulsed at different times so what we're going to do is we are going to run that into a line of repeaters and then that is going to go into a block and then into another deal of repeaters another row okay on these blocks right here we're going to put torches and a block on top another row of torches blocks on top of these and blocks on the front here these are then going to have redstone on them because we want all of these pistons that go right here facing downwards, sticky pistons sorry facing downwards to have blocks on them oh no 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 not there not there Sorry. Scratch that, scratch that. Not a gotcha. Anyway, um <laughs> place them underneath and with blocks on them just like that. We're gonna then carry it out on the other side with repeaters, and then that is going to go into a block just like this. Repeaters here, block, and torches on the other side of that block. And now for the timings, these repeaters right here all need to be on two ticks of delay. And these repeaters right here need to be on four ticks of delay. And there's that part actually done. <laughs> that was quick. Um, we'll go on to the lime green circuit next. And you can just throw that away. <clears throat> so. Okay, so I'm back. Um, now what you're going to want to do is actually, what we're going to do is we're going to run this into CNB Minecraft's combination lock. Um, if you don't know who CNB is, go check him out. There'll be a link in the description. Um, subscribe to him, like all of his videos, such and such, yada yada. But, um, so I don't take credit for this combination lock part of this. But, um, seriously guys, go check him out. Oh, and also this is... Ivy Ike Alexis Sandstone Redstone Ready Map. Um, he placed every single block down by hand. He didn't use any converting programs. He actually did this by hand. So go check him out. And then I think he also has a new one where it's got the chunks mapped out and he's got sand. Oops. He's got sand in the ones that. Uh, he's got sand in some and then uh, sandstone in the others. But seriously, guys, go check him out. <clears throat> subscribe to him as well anyway back to the tutorial place a row of blocks where the torch the torches will come out with four ticks of delay and run those into blocks just like this okay <clears throat> you're going to put torches on these blocks and then just continue it out however many presses of the redstone ore you're going to have in the combo lock itself now these the rest of these repeaters just need to be on one tick of delay no more. So just keep running this out. We're going to have four. So one, two, three, and four. Right here, right here, and right here. Wait a second. We don't need one there. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Run this out. Run these out. Run these out. And run these out. Torches on these, on these, and on these. Also, you guys, you can go check out um, CMB's tutorial on this combo lock. There will be a link to that in the, the description, too. I'm just going to kind of speed build it, so if you need to slow down a little bit, just go check him out. Okay, so now, depending on what our combination is going to be, we're going to break the torches. Mine is going to be three, one, two, whoops, two, and four. Okay, so now with those torches that we broke, <clears throat> we're going to put redstone on the other side. Or underneath of it, I guess, is what I meant to say. <laughs> and here, break this and break that with redstone and redstone. Okay. And I messed that up there, didn't I? Wow. Okay, um, there we go. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to run this out in a line just like this. Same here. Same here. Um, that one's already at the edge, so we don't have to worry about it. And all the way to there, and we're going to staircase up till we hit right here. Just like this. There, there, and there. Now we're going to place redstone on this entire line. Okay, now then these are the first one here and the third one here are going to go into a blocks. These two are going to come out and then a repeater goes into them. That is going to just continue on for however many you have. Um, then there's going to be blocks here and here. Oh, sorry guys, that was my dog. Hey, hey, you, you lay down. You lay down. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> on top of these blocks, you're going to put torches, and then those will run out. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. We're going to put redstone on all of these, just like this. Just like this. <laughs> then torches here at the end of these. With blocks on the ends just like this. Down. Back. And on top. So that little like partial cross looking thing. Or a sideways T. We're just going to punch out all the middle blocks. We're going to go ahead and put our repeaters in there. Torches on top, redstone on the back here, and then um, since it's like this, we're going to just break these real quick, and then just replace them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a block on the side of all of these torches. So there should be just three if you're using four. Um, just depends on how many you're using, really. And then that is going to go, there's going to be a torch on the insides here. It's going to go down on top of... Redstone just like this, and then it's going to come in and up, turning that torch off. Hold on. Put a block there to block off this crosstalk, and just like that, only my bad, there's a repeater there. Okay, so there's that part done. We're going to go ahead and do that for the rest of them. Don't forget to cut off these. This one actually doesn't actually need one to cut off. But anyway, um, here, here, and here for redstone. Repeater there and repeater there. Okay, so there's that done. Now we just need to run redstone on top of there. And now we just need a reset line, which we'll put... Uh, we need to put a block on top of all these torches, run it out to there, and then just bring these SR nor latches up one. Run this out, up, and up. Run this out, up, and up. Run this out, up, and up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to place redstone on all of these until you hit this torch right here. We're going to put a repeater on top of these torches. So that it doesn't cross talk. Right here. And then right here. Okay, so it should look like a zigzag. And it's going to go into another deal of redstone. Come across. 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 And there's that. Now what we're going to do is put a torch on the end here, 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 and here. And then another torch here, 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 and here. Then we're going to place redstone dust on top. And that's the entire thing done, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put redstone ore into this. But um, you can't obviously do it in survival, and it's a little tricky to do it in creative. But um, So stick around if you want to see that. If not, you're done. <laughs> Alright, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Now we can take our redstone ore and get rid of our um, green wool. Okay, so we're still going to need sandstone, by the way. 
Um, so how we're going to do this is, uh, first off, we're going to disable the combo lock. So let's get some red wool out as well. And then we're just going to cut these off. And then update the last piston, just as always. If any of them are up, okay, we want these all down at the, the exact same time. So just place a block on it and then break it and it will push down. Okay, so let's just delete this row of piston or of blocks there. And that, okay, so let's just go ahead and push these off as well. Okay, so that fixes that problem. And now we've got another problem. For down here, we'll just place these blocks again. Okay, now where I'm going to start this is I'm going to start this right here. Um, just go ahead and break these blocks here. Now, the reason this is tricky is because when we put our redstone ore in, you might not be able to tell right away, but uh, when a redstone ore is activated, it actually gives off a little glow, and you can see this like reddish stuff flying off of it just like there. So um, the problem is, if you place a redstone ore on another redstone ore, the previous redstone ore lights up. So we can't have that. So what we actually have to do is we have to place sandstone blocks down and put the redstone ore on the side of those sandstone blocks. So uh, first off, let's just go ahead and delete this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I just stripped all of that off, as you can see. Um, don't worry if this deactivated, by the way. It's, it's all good. We can actually go ahead and place our red wool back on these and then get rid of it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to be placing um, wherever we can put redstone ore down. I'm going to go ahead and do that just to show you guys those spots such as these right here. Oops. Okay, and then right here, right here, and then for the rest of it right here. If you actually look at the redstone that gives off that little edge, you can actually put it right there too. Okay, so there's that. Now what we're going to do is place blocks in here. Redstone ore and then break those blocks. Okay, more redstone ore on these pistons. More blocks. Oops. Redstone ore and then break these blocks. And my bad, we're in one. Okay, so just on these redstone blocks or redstone ore, whatever you want to call them. Go ahead and delete those. <clears throat> Place those and then just delete the ones inside. Okay, so um, that's actually it for those that you can easily place. Let's go ahead and put some on these pistons here and then on top of this ore. Um, the right here, we can put them on these. We can put them underneath these torches here. It's got good aim. Ugh. Okay, there's that. Um, now we can put them under here too. Just like this. And on these pistons. Then on the side of these blocks. And that's it for that. Now I can put them right here, and I believe that's just about it except for these. Okay, so you can see that that did a pretty good portion, but we've still got a lot left. So what we have to do is come in here and sandstone just cover like everything up with sandstone. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna go ahead and place our redstone ore on every on the underneath side of every sandstone block. You guys could honestly probably do this on your by your own on your own by now. But I mean it's cool if you want to stay. I like talking, so <laughs> okay, so that's done. Now we can just break all of these. Be sure that you don't step on top of any of these redstone ores either, because then that'll activate them. We just really don't want to have any active. Okay, so now we'll deal with the backside here. Looks like it's a bit more challenging. I like a challenge. Okay, so just come straight down. All the way to these repeaters right here. Then go up, down, and back up. Whoops. There we are. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put redstone ore on all of these going up. And we'll 
fly back down here and put red sonar on all of these. Okay, now this is what I want to point out real quick. Right here, um, what I am going to do is I'm going to put a sandstone block in each of these really quickly. Place my redstone ore, break the sandstone blocks, and then place my redstone ore in just like this on the sides of those blocks. So now none of those are activated. So now we've got that entire side, so we can go ahead and break all of the sandstone here. Okay, so there's that. Now let's just fill this little too wide area or too long or whatever you want to, however you want to look at it. Place blocks in there and then break these. Now we've just got this little tricky part left. Place blocks here and on the sides of these pistons. And then going down, we'll place blocks there and then blocks here as well. Okay, place blocks on the outsides of those. And that's your redstone ore ring done, except for right here. Just go ahead and place blocks on the insides of those. Redstone ore, and then break those blocks. And then we'll go down here and break these blocks too. Okay, so there's the entire square done. Now we just have to delete these blocks again, remember? So these four here. And then these four here. And that is the entire thing done, except now we have to put our torches back. The way I would actually do this is just break these repeaters first, place these torches down, and then put the repeaters back. Okay, so that's done. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been helping a lot lately. Um, don't worry if it activates once, that's okay. Um, I really want to thank you guys for this. Um, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here at all. And I also want to point out that we made our first bucks on YouTube. Yeah, well, 15 cents. <laughs> um, but that's just so far. Thanks, guys. It's not about the money for me, it really isn't. It's more about the videos. Um, but... Thanks for watching. Oh, and another thing is the fact that um, sometimes these pistons glitch out really bad. Uh, what you actually should do is place pistons right here. That will update the redstone. If you don't need to, then don't. But that's a very bad bug that's been happening to me a lot. So, um, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And 